just shooting a little video. Uh, I I know I haven't shot any YouTube videos like I promised, especially with the breeding season. But the breeding season was really slow. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I, I moved into a new home, and I had uh, my son and my daughter, uh, twins, were born earlier this year. So it's been uh, it's been a handful, I'll tell you that. So right now, I, I you know I'm letting one of my little baby dumerals from last year cruise around and check some things out. I thought, you know, since I'm screwing around, might as well go ahead and shoot a little YouTube video. Uh, I mean, the biggest problem was not so much shooting a video, it's, you know, it's really finding the time without doing the things that I absolutely have to do to stop and shoot video. But things are calming down quite nice right now, so... I should be shooting. I, I don't want to make any promises I can't keep again, but... I'm going to try to uh, make quite a few more videos than I did last year. Um... And while I got time, I, I, I could talk a little bit about what's going on for this upcoming season. Well, well, actually, I'll talk a little bit about last season. Last season, I only paired uh, three snakes together. And out of the three, only one female went. And I'm sure that's due to the move. And that female laid seven eggs, which five were slugs. And only... Two eggs were good, and they uh, molded over and died during the incubation process. So, I mean, the whole season was pretty much a flop. Um, I didn't sell much last year, uh, mostly because I didn't have time to put up ads and, and talk to people and, and things like that. But uh, one of the benefits to having an off season where females didn't go and things like that is I could start my season early this year. So it's now August seventh and I've already started my cycling and dropping temperatures and things like that and I've already had I I palpated a female just to just check on her. It was one of the females that wasn't eaten and you know she's developing little follicles. So I went ahead and threw in the male that I was gonna pair with her this year, and uh, he's courting her nicely. Um, hopefully, I get some killer bees out of this. But I guess I could show you a couple holdbacks. I'm in the process of cleaning cages. I'm in the process of cleaning cages right now, so bear with me here. A little female Mojave. She's a holdback. She ain't going anywhere. And here's a little female pastel. I'm torn on her though, you know, I, I, I want to keep her, but uh, at the same time, I, I don't know if I need her. And, and my biggest issue as a breeder is, you know, I'm not one of these guys out trying to make a dollar. Uh, I'm out to pay for what I have, basically, break even. And if I could, I'd probably keep everything I breed, you know. I mean, some of these guys are out to make the quick dollar, and their pairings are about what makes them the most money. Uh, that's that's just not for me. So I don't know. I I want to keep her, raise her up, breed her. But uh, are you hungry there, buddy? But I I might end up letting her go. I don't know. I've been debating it for a while now. Yeah.
a little mail from last year. This camera doesn't focus very well. You gonna eat my finger? You gonna eat my finger? You want a mouse, don't you? Well, you're getting ready to go on rats in. Yeah, I'd say that female, this female from last year, she's probably the best looking Mojave I've ever produced. Uh, she came from the pastel to Mojave clutch. Which was clutch number two, and you know these these actually were the only two that even came out of that clutch. That's quite wild. You got a pastel and a Mojave, no pastavi, but both girl both were girls, and I'd like to keep them both. <laughs> Let's see, let's see, da, 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 da. If their cages look wet, that's not pee, it's, I just cleaned out their cages. Oh, I don't think I ever shot a, a video of the actual snake room. Let's see, how am I going to do this here? Let's see, you got... Uh, yeah. I mean, my father slapped this together, and uh, I tell you what, that right there, if you ever get a chance to put that right there in your snake room, do it. Oh my god, you talk about a time saver. Wow. Having your own sink on location, we'll call it, is just absolutely killer. I got the window covered up, and then back there, there's a sheet of drywall missing because uh, I may end up with concrete problems. It's a patched, it's patched concrete. Uh, there was a leak back there, a crack in the concrete. But um, I, I, I'm just leaving it like that for a year, making sure that uh, it doesn't leak anymore. So we'll have to see. And that's just about it. I don't know what else to shoot a video on right now. I guess I could put this little demurls back before I forget. Oh, come on. You're going to make this a two-hand job, ain't you? Wasn't quick enough. Wasn't quick enough. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, just small enough to squeeze in between there and not let me get her out. Ain't that something? Come on. Thank you. Look, clean cage. Yay. All right. Well, I'll see you guys later.